Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Bidia Truder, and welcome to Mafia Definitive Edition, the remake of 2002's Original Mafia, and this here is a sponsored video, because the Original Mafia games are actually one of the more commonly requested games that's been put forward to me by the community. This one's actually been something people have been asking to see for quite a long time. Then I heard they were remaking it, so I thought, you know what, great, we'll look at that. And then 2K emailed me out of nowhere saying, John, we'd also like you to make a video of Mafia Definitive Edition, but we're also willing to drive a dump truck full of money to your house. To which I replied, well, probably would have got round to this at some point anyway, and I do like money, so this is just going to work out beautifully. Link in the description below in case you like what you're seeing. Let's flip and go. I should say, by the way, I never played the original Mafia game, so... All of this, this is all brand new to me, so as far as I'm aware, this is a game where you play as a seagull. A seagull who's brand new to the big city, and the seagull just wants to make it. The seagull wants to be a player, but the seagull falls in with some bad seagulls who lead the seagull down a bad path. That lighthouse, right there, that lighthouse is where the mob boss of the seagulls live, and eventually we're going to have to take him out in order to take over the lighthouse for ourselves, because it turns out that seagull crime doesn't pay, but it's possibly more likely we're playing as like, well, maybe not that guy. That guy's a postman. Oh, maybe I'm playing as a postman. That'd be fun. You're Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you call the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any, uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, that's yours. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah. I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. 
1930, an offer you can't refuse. Right, so I'm guessing that's the framing device. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Downright Trigger, gotcha. Oh, this is a nice, exciting opening. I'm guessing there's going to be some people shooting at me. Now, find ways to lose your tail. Okay, well, apparently there's a, there's a thing in front of me. I guess we'll just cut straight through. You know what, game? I could have handled that by myself, I promise. I didn't know how an analog stick worked. Right, let's see what we... Slow down. Are you sure? I mean... Okay. Do you want me to... Oh, you just mean for corners. Sorry, I thought you wanted me to stop. Ooh, massive bridge. And hang on, what? Does anyone know what city we're in? This isn't San Francisco, is it? Like, the Golden Gate Bridge is... It's bigger than this. And also, oh, there's more people planning to kill me. Right, how about we just... How do I ram? Okay, well, we just do that, apparently. It's just little... Wait, how does my... How does my ram meter to go? Oh, it's just a temporary boost. Got it. All right, let's, let's see what else we got. We're just going to cut through a whole bunch of... That was good enough. I felt like I was a bit off there, but uh, that's fine. Okay, so cutting through like little gaps or whatever, that does the job. Got it. They can't uh, they can't steer as well as me. Good. Turns out I'm a genius at driving. So, aha, they're on the map. So now we just need to find... Sorry, really sorry about this. By the way, I think I just put that guy in a river. So, okay, there's two on me, but if I just go for those things, uh, then, yeah, we can just get here. Then the car just sort of... Uh, drives itself and oh I've lost one of my bloody headlights I bet that's gonna cost a load to repair right and then I just need to find another one aha here we go take a left at the next and we'll hit one so all right next left that's the closest so excuse me I think this is my get out of the way I'm a car and there we go right only one more straight through here job done okay so if pursued look for roadworks gotcha Give you that. Oh, thank you. That's very, very kind of you to say. Ooh, and apparently we're going to do a bridge jump. Okay, maybe activate RAM mode. And lovely. I think I'm enjoying this a little too much, to be perfectly honest. I feel like, yeah, Tommy was a bit bored as a cab driver already. And even worse, I probably could put the radio on, but it's 1930, so Avril Lavigne hasn't been invented yet. Bloody hell, what's even the point? Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? I'd probably go. That was, you know, ambiguous. That could be a bullet just as much as a pile of money. All right, because I am a witness. Like, I am so witnessy right now. I just witnessed a lot of crimes and was also complicit in, like, several of them. Oh, you know, he's important because he's in slow motion. Only important people are. Yeah, here it comes. Get ready to floor it. Get ready to... Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. Okay, but you didn't need to walk up like that. That was needlessly threatening. Good. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. 
Okay, but I'm gonna have to jazz up this story a bit, because apparently the little old lady was not happy with the fact I had to swerve to miss her. Like, maybe I was driving dangerously, because it would appear she pulled out a gun. This old lady was packing heat, alright? I picked the wrong time to take my eye off the road for a second. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. All right, so now I'm guessing I'm going to be doing some uh, standard taxi driving, and uh, it's not going to be so much uh, fun. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Okay, well now she said that... Oh, I've got a speed limiter. Ooh, so I can limit my speed. Okay, you know what? Now I know I've got a speed limiter. I'm going to do this properly like, and uh, you know what? You want me to be careful? I'm going to be careful. Make sure we are... Nope, sorry, we've got pedestrians crossing right now. So I'm just going to let them go past. All right, and now... Uh, Wait for these vehicles. I assume I'm giving Excuse way. Me, so, no, no, we don't. You told me to drive carefully and respect the law. So I'm respecting cars are already on the main road. All right. I'm not going to overtake or anything. We're going to do this proper line because I've got a speed limiter, which is brilliant. And, oh, hang on. This guy's... Excuse me. Why are you not going? You have right of way. There's... Well, I assume you have right. Hang on. There's... No, you don't. You don't enter a box if you can't leave. Oh, bloody hell. All right, I'm trying to do my best here. But these idiots don't know how to bloody drive. In fact, who does have right of way? There's, there's no traffic lights. Who has right of way when... Do I just wait until there's, like, nobody coming? So, okay, those guys will have right of way. You've got to have... Why are you waiting? Who are you... Are you giving way to... Excuse me, I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out how roads work. Just, just give me a second. Okay, I'm going to... All right, maybe I should... Oh, I should have been in... I should have been in the left-hand lane. That was... Sorry! I'm really sorry! I'm still figuring out how roads work when I don't have traffic lights. Here you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. Did... Did she just not... Pay? I feel like she was supposed to pay. You can't just not pay if you don't feel... Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I'm really sorry. Okay, not not him, though. But but you. But you. There's no police around here, is there? No, there's not! Screw you for not pay... No, no. Hang on. And... Ooh. I'm literally not allowed to break the law. Okay. Well, that's fascinating. Aha. Here's somebody. So I can just do honest... Sorry, this is... Okay. This is all of... Yeah, I know. I've just... I've just broken all the rules. Hello over there. Yes, good sir. Where would you like to go? Don't worry about paying me, by the way, because I literally can't actually, you know, merge you if you don't. Art gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Okay, you go. want that? Ooh, you want that fast. Right, we're just playing Crazy Taxi for the minute. Love it. Okay, nice and fast. Round the outside on the wrong side of the road if need be. Just skirt around the outside of all of this. Touch of brakes. Straight over here. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks, pal. Here's 50 cents. I will spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Okay, this guy actually paid me. That's much better. And I'm very sorry about the bin and the post box, by the way. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. I mean, I quite like it if my incentive for becoming a criminal was literally, I just had one bad day and some people were a bit rude to me. So I decided life of crime might be more fun. That's a good motivation. I like that. Whoa, Jesus. Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? <coughs> Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while. Eh? <coughs> okay, so I suspect <laughs> I've walked into the wrong fun. mob's neighborhoods. Yeah. And we're now learning how to run. Good. Let's do some flipping running in that case. Convenient steps. That'll do the job. Jump over some things. Can I jump over bigger things? Yes, I'm good at jumping. Marvelous. Oh, bloody hell. They're shooting me with guns. Well, that's a bit excessive. Also, I like the music, by the way. It's very chirpy for the fact I'm currently being murdered by mobsters. That's... 
that's a very cheerful music under the circumstances. All right, apparently I'm just having a lovely day. This is just the level of excitement I want out of my life. Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just try and talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal, we ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Ah, because an attack on the driver is an attack on him. Gotcha. Oh, I'm being sort of pulled into to big bad things. Got it. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Okay, we've got some smashing to do. I like Mr. Frank, though. Frank's good. I like his accents. Oh, right, yes, America, 1930. Prohibition. Right, that's why there'll be a mafia then. Got it. Sorry, yes, I forgot about that. That was a thing in American history. Oh, I'm liking this better and better. They've given me this beautiful car, which most importantly, if I just squeeze that little thing out the window... It's got a good old-fashioned comedy horn! Love it! Right, so, I've got a friend that fixed me up with a baseball bat and some Molotov cocktails. Let's go set fire to excuse me! Excuse the flip out of- No! No, 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 no! I had right of- Okay, my car can't, uh, can't keep up with this. No, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Screw you! Screw you, you dick! Can I lean out the window? Probably not with a baseball bat, no. All right, so now we just need to sneak around the back, destroy some vehicles. Now that sounds fun, and aha, the sneaky mode. All right, so there's a stealth system in this game. Got him, I'm guessing. Are we climbing by any chance? There we go. I'll just keep it sneaky. Try and find a way around. Here we go, a couple of guards there. But maybe they don't ever find out I'm here. Maybe we just get straight up here. And then we toss some Molotovs down. Take cover. Ah, and now I'm supposed to be helping out my friend by doing a little takedown. All right, just get around the back of him. And boom. You can just... No, don't, don't snap his neck. Just... Okay, we're just giving him the old knock unconscious cuddle. Got it. That's all absolutely fine. Oh, here we go. Right, so got myself... Do I even have a gun? 
Do I have a gun? I don't think I've got a gun. Right, let's go for a baseball bat and now activate melee mode. And no, 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 no. We need to knock off the headlights. Because that means it won't be safe for them to drive at night anymore. Which means the night belongs to our mafia and uh oh. Okay, so first we gotta do some- Oh, hang on, sorry, there might have been a counter there. But instead I just whacked him with a bat, sorry about that. Though, I think we've just, uh, we've knocked out you, so big charge! And one more over there. There we go. Okay, I just need to break the window. Is there a window? Okay, well there isn't any more. So, now we have broken at least part of the window. So, grab and throw straight in through the window. And, oh, over the back of the- Okay, never mind, that, that sort of... Okay, never mind, it is on fire, it did explode. Good, 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 good. Can we have one more, by the way? Yeah, we'll have we'll have one over there. And are more people about to, to actually uh, come in a moment. There we go, I feel like that was more efficient than a baseball bat. And oh, we're gonna steal the car. Flippin' love it. Do I need health, by the way? I do not need health. So, do a little bit of breaking and entering. I'm suspiciously good at being a criminal for someone who was just, you know, an honest taxi driver. And get out of my way, I'm crime! Also, oh, I've also annoyed the police. Oh, bloody hell. Right, let them get out first and uh, drive fast. Avoid uh, cops. Still on the plus side, now I can hit civilians because I'm a criminal, so it's fine. Okay, so now I've got to watch out for, you know, bad things like police because I'm still wanted. Though, uh, seriously, this was the Don's car, the other rival Don. It's hideous. It's brown and beige. Who wants a brown and beige car? Bloody hell. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? Nice suits. Really nice suits. They've got lovely suits. Where can I get that suit? A barman Luigi. It's not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Oh, I'm guessing that's my framing device wife that I'm about to meet then. Good, good. Oh, there we go. I'm not convinced by the jacket, to be honest. But I have got an excellent hat there. Love it. And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. 
So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. I like Sam. He seems a bit, you know, not as enthusiastic as Paulie is. This is... Yeah, I'm not sure what Sam's deal is. Maybe he just doesn't like me. He's the one that's caught my eye. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. He's a baker, Sam. I'm not sure he's gonna pose that much of a threat to us. Ah, I see the problem here, though. Yeah, he's already got no money. He's about to lose the bakery. Gotcha. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been nice. Ooh, he was planning to do a running out the back door situation. I see. Or there might be a nasty surprise waiting for me. All right, what do we got here? And... Okay, that'll be the grandmother he mentioned a second ago. Probably she's not going to murder me. And we just got ourselves a... Aha! Got ourselves a lovely card here. Excellent. So, Sam, there's no money, but he did, like, um... He's got a baseball card with... With you on it. It's pretty weird, actually. All right, brown envelope. Grab that. Good. We've got money. Okay, so we didn't need to beat him up, but, um... We may have just, you know, ruined him forever. You know, we could have bought donuts. Guys, can we, like, all buy a donut each? Actually, we'd be buying them with, like... His own money. That's probably even more insulting. Let's just go. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. I'm slightly worried Paulie might be a bit of a psychopath. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of smashing. Once we were putting a squeeze on his tailor over in Holbrook guy ended up in a wheelchair. Yeah, but we were also told by the Don to, like, not break people's legs. So, means he done yet? I feel like he's doing a lot of damage in there. Alright, rule of three says this next one's now gonna get, you know, fighty, and uh, we're a little bit out of the, uh, out of the city. This is nice. We're just kind of going on a nice drive in the country. Ooh, we've got an overlook here. Hang on, guys. Guys, we'll do the business deal in a second. I want to go see the overlook. What's the hold up? Look, I just want to see the nice view. I'll be back in a second, though. Guys, you could you could come with me. Ah, oh, yeah, this is good stuff right here. Oh, we got a view of the bridge over there. Oh, that's really nice. Guys, you are missing out. I'm having a lovely day. And there's a free comic book or something. Look, I know we're here to do crime, but that doesn't mean we can't have a nice day out at the same time. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're cooking with gas, or driving with it to be precise. Oh, we're getting some good speed up. Over 60-somethings an hour. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to give this guy a bit of a nudge. We're just going to give this guy a bit of a gentle nudge. All right, just, just hold on right there. Hold on right there. Hold on right there. And... Go! Oh, yeah! That's right! Oh, he didn't actually explode. I'm kind of disappointed. All right, little motel which looks suspiciously picturesque out here in the middle of nowhere. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Can't help but notice that that, uh, that balcony looks like, uh, you know, good sort of a place for people to be uh, appearing with guns. And... No, it's it's because there's gasoline. It's an old gas station. Tommy, come on. Ah, Tom. Tommy, I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly. Tell Salieri from here on out, this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Get Sam out of there! Okay. Okay, just hang on. Okay, so we're doing a bit of the old murder. The question is, do they know where I am? And uh, I need to figure out, yeah, how open is this game? So in particular, can we sneak in the back way? Alright, just deal with a couple of these. Oh, there you go, I see you. 
I see you. Right, we can... Aha. Uh -huh. I see one right there. Alright. Up. And no, up this way. And then over to here. And then grab him. There we go. There we go. Now we're upstairs. You're probably not going to be seen. I'm guessing everyone else is... Everyone else is out of the way. Alright, now this. This was the way in right here. Now that guy is... Yeah, he's downstairs from where we're supposed to be. Now there is... Is there someone in there? I don't think so. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, sorry, 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 my mistake. Uh, so, um... Okay, he's he's been taken out, but I feel like they they know at this point. Uh, so I shouldn't have gone into the bathroom because... Alright, take cover. Alright, they've got bored. Good. So there was a bit of an alert, but we took it out. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta take out the thugs. So, uh, the mission is, uh, everybody needs to die. Alright, save Sam. Now that depends. Ooh. How much did you just say? Well, that's that's A-OK. -okay. Right here. He saw a thing. Well, I tell you what, how about you just go down... Yeah, okay, so bullets... Bullets make a fair bit of noise. So that's going to draw him over here, but that's fine. We can just gun him down. I'm in cover. This is all absolutely A-OK. -okay. So, yep, how about you just go down? Then, ah, oh, it turns out I'm a genius at crime. Oh, yeah, you brought a baseball bat to a gunfight. Good, 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 good call. Uh, I'll just be having this, uh, this knife here. Ooh, knife, nice. Ooh, now I can do some stabbing. Right, so, 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 guys. Guys, 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 guys. We got some stabbing to do. Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. Right, so I'm guessing Morello just started a war. And now it's up to us to, you know, fight that war. Okay, so step one, make sure they don't get away with the money and... Did I just run over? Okay, I'm not running over poorly. It's just this car doesn't accelerate particularly fast. So, okay. Question is, uh, how are we supposed to... Aha. No, no, not that car. That That's a... Oh, hang on. Maybe that car. Yeah, that car actually. Okay, fine. Never mind. Uh, right, speed things up a little bit. Speed things up a little bit. Oh, I've not got much. Never mind. I've got infinite ammo. That's really convenient. So now we just put a few bullets on... You see if we can get a few hits and wait for him to pop out. Maybe he's more vulnerable when he pops out. And oh, he seems to be on fire. Okay, that works for me. My health's looking a bit dicey. Actually, I'm not really sure how to do evasive actions when I'm in a car. And let's just put some stuff on you. Oh, I'm a bit worried actually. I'm a bit worried, and you seem to have been slightly on fire. Is there any health regen at all? I don't know. Reload, reload. Go, 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 go. Just put some bullets on him. Damn it. I mean, we're making him smoke a bit. I'm guessing there's more cars coming in the moment we hit the road. Right, speed up a bit, get close. And ram him. Screw you! I just ran myself much harder. Is he dead? I think he might be dead. Right, pop out. Be ready for some trouble. And seems pretty dead to me. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Oh, I'm doing my framing device discussion. I'm talking to the detective in the future again. Tommy. Thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. 
Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. All right, so we're doing a bit of dodgy gambling, flipping, love it. Oh, hang on. Sarah, is that... Oh, is that Sarah? Are you my wife in the future during the framing device? You might be my wife during the framing device. Oh, but here's exciting. Get to pick my own vehicle now. All right, we're getting to open things up a bit. So, no, that's hideous. That's a taxi. Oh, now we're talking. Okay, so now, now we can get a little bit of a... Oh, my goodness, now we could get some flipping speed up. Oh, yeah, this is... Ow, bloody hell. This is nice. I mean, admittedly, it, uh... You kind of got to brake and turn early because handling's a bit on the, uh, the heavy side in the 1930s, but that's all absolutely okay. Oh, now. Now we got some open... Uh-oh. It's fine. It's... It's a bit dinged, but it's fine. Right, straight through here over to the... Ow! Okay, where was the... Wait, where was I supposed to be going? Oh, this parking space. Sorry. Sorry. I thought we were going to, like, you know, a garage, not a parking space outside a garage. So we'll just stop here. You show me where this car is, uh, and apparently uh, we're gonna be on the clock. But luckily I've been getting, you know, some practicing going fast. Hasn't been going well so far, but you know, now I've got all the crashing out of my system. So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Right, 1.30. Oh, I'm going a long way, but there's also a lot of straight. There's no really steep corners here to the end, so... Okay, we should be fine. Let's just get a bit of a shift on, shall we? Oh, this is... This is nice. The cops are not going to be... Okay, I'm supposed to not break the car. Um, so... Right, uh, maybe, maybe, like, you know, slow it down a bit. Okay, need to get into the habit of using the brakes. In a video game, that just feels weird, but okay. Excuse me, get out of the way, I'm a car... Uh, okay, so, straight line, cars, and <laughs> this is good, all of a sudden I've got to, yes, get things moving very fast, and the cops are going to be unimpressed with me, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. Uh, how unimpressed. You know what, they're pretty chill, all things considered. Now, don't mind me, officer, and, okay, no one's, oh, never mind, the cops are after me now, yeah, okay, but that's fine. They shouldn't be able to catch me, because I'm too bloody fast. Right, straight over the bridge, that bit's nice and easy. Just stay on the tram lines until, you know, there's a tram, then maybe don't be on the tram lines. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, just slow, 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 slow! Okay, need to leave more time for slowing. All right, right here on the left, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, or maybe just like ram it straight into this. Is this the, is this the place? Is this where we're, where are we supposed to be? Oh, we're supposed to be going around the back. Sorry, I thought that was like a, a garage I could go into. Also, I've kind of broken the car, sorry. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Oh, hey, now she's no gonna be more difficult to drive. Okay, now how long have I got? I've got, okay, another three and a half minutes. That's fine, but now, Oh, the car's gonna overheat. Right. Okay, that's, that's gonna be good. So, I've gotta be a bit careful on the old accelerator. So, straight over the bridge. That's nice and easy. Then, yeah. Can't get up to max temperature or bad. So, just let it cool down. It's fine. Everything's... Oh, it's, it is... It's drifting like crazy too. Oh, this is... This is a fun mission. This is a fun little thing to ask me to do. Oh, yeah, watch out for the, the engine temperature. Otherwise, it's going to, you know, explode. Oh, but I'm guessing that police car is going to be uh, unimpressed with me. Yep, other guys aren't going to believe this. That sounds bad. Yep, there we go. We now got trouble. Except now, now I can't just speed away from them because explode. And watch out for you. This is... I like going down the main street in the stolen car. That's good. Right, one minute 30 to go, but we're now in the right area. In fact, yep, recognize this area. We're only just outside the track, so we should be golden. Okay, I crashed a bit at the end, sorry. Meanwhile, the following morning, I'm guessing there's going to be, yeah, trouble. 
Tom, you got a moment? No. Sir Frank. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Oh, I love it. Oh, flip me, this is cool. This is very cool. Where's the... Where's the start? Are we supposed to go? Okay, we're supposed to go. Oh, we've got a proper race here. Now, do I have my... Yes, I do have my little boosty ram thing. Am I allowed to boosty ram? Is that allowed? And the favourite is straight out, so okay. The favourite's gone, but I still need to win the race versus everybody. Oh, cock! Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control, aside from the fact I'm back to last. Okay, I need to learn the track here. Get out of the way! I'm the bloody protagonist! Right, use my ram to get a tiny bit of extra speed. Then we got a nice straight here. Gentle curve, I can stay on the inside after that first nasty bit. Then a bit of a steeper one, but it's like got that thing where it like, it, it's like, it's got a slope on it. I don't know what that actually means, but I assume that makes it easier to like, take. So okay, we're in good shape for the time being. Then there is a, a bit of a blind curve there. Can I take that at full speed? No, I need to slow down a tiny bit for that one. Just the tiniest bit right there. So, okay, then we've got a little bit of a chicane, but I should be able to just... Yeah, I can just cut that. That's fine. Uh, and then we've got, no, screw you. And naff off. Naff, naff off. I said naff off. And just, yeah, I can use the ram to kind of correct my position, which is good. I need a tiny bit of break for this one. Okay, now I know what the actual track looks like. It's going to be much easier. No, you don't. Bye. You can just go and... Okay, we're kind of... We're kind of stuck. We're kind of stuck. We're kind of... Guys? Guys, would someone... Would someone mind... Guys? Oh, there's a flip vehicle button. Sorry, I didn't realise that was there. Okay, so we've got a bit of catching up to do. Anyone could win. Anyone except Tommy Angelo, of course, who's hopelessly in last place. Okay, so now... Now we know what we're doing, damn it. Now we know what we're doing. So there's a really steep corner here. Oh, blimey, sorry about that. Uh, right, so... Do not do too much on this first right over here and then right over here and then yeah then we've got a nice long straight around the lake so i should be able to regain some positions right over here i wouldn't stand that close i'm not a good driver okay we're going into the final lap and i am now with the leaders well out of the rest of the pack everyone's sort of separating out a bit i've just got to get past the final few at this point so okay we now know what we're doing here which is uh, slow it down slow it down slow it down for the corner i didn't really slow it down enough right get around the outside of here and yes now we're in uh, we're in second place we just got to get on this guy who is apparently not the favorite and not me so i don't know who the hell this guy's supposed to be the commentator keeps saying mckellen there we go no you don't no you don't buddy no, you don't. Off your pop, please. Off your flipping pop. And then a tiny bit of break just to get me on the inside line. Notice it's protect my position. All right, we're good. We're good. Sorry. Had a bit of an incompetent moment in the middle. Tiny, tiny spot of brakes going into this. I can just use the hay to give myself a tiny bit of a nudge. How close behind are they? It's not so bad. We're okay. Cut the corner a tiny bit here. As long as I've got some clean air in front of me, a little bump is not going to kill me. We're good. Marvellous. And on to the final straight we go. And kaboom. Oh, flipping got it. Oh, that'll be the moment Sarah fell in love with me. Marvellous. I've met my future wife. I'm so sorry I'm going to ruin your life and also that of our unborn daughter. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. Sorry, did you just admit that you were betting on the guy whose car you know we sabotaged? Because if so, bad play. Right, let's find Paulie, who I'm guessing is going to be, you know, in a spot of trouble. Oh dear, Paulie's not looking, uh... In great shape. My friend, I think you've had enough beer, like, even if it was a Prohibition era. You did real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Or maybe we're just going to have a nice wholesome moment about how this was all meant to be. 
Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Where the hell he goes home to? Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, I like that. We got a little... Well, as much as a sober moment, pun not intended. Uh, but yeah, at the end of a very uh, happy, action-packed day, all of a sudden we got ourselves... Uh, yeah, Paulie just sort of uh, opening up about his uh, insecurities and pain and whatnot. That's that's very cool. Sweet dreams, tough guy. I'm gonna eat. Please don't vomit in my car. Admittedly, you can't make it any worse color-wise. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, now that's more like it. I've finally got myself... Sorry, I was a bit in your way there. I finally got myself a nice suit to go with my nice hat. I've made it. That's it. I don't want anything else in life. I'm supposed to be like, you know, getting a big gun and murdering some punks or something. But no, that's all I need. Because, uh, yes indeed, there's uh, there's more than one way to play the game. Because if you fancy it, you could just put yourself into free ride mode. Get out of the way, I'm clearly fancy. Have yourself a nice drive. Don't have any, like, you know, objectives, NPCs wittering in your ear. Just... Drive about, look for collectibles, secrets, apparently there's like, you know, a load of stuff just sort of uh, hidden about the map. So you just get to, you know, wander around, learn the city if that's what you want to do. Very, very nice indeed. Always like a bit of a free roam mode. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Mafia Definitive Edition. And uh, I'll say there's a lot I like here. It's varied. That's the big thing for me. It really feels like, you know... Every mission has you doing something a bit different. Sometimes it's stealthy, sometimes it's blasty, sometimes you're a flipping race car driver. That's the sort of variety I appreciate in games. So, a lot I like here. If I had to find a criticism, technically it could probably do with a tiny bit of optimization. The frame rate is not always 100% of what it could be. It sometimes does noticeably drop when things get very, very busy. But yeah, in general, overall, I am impressed. As I understand it, this came out yesterday, so link the description below. If you like what you see, you might well be interested in giving it to Luxian. Of course, this means, given I did play Mafia 3 when it came out, technically, I haven't actually played, you know, Mafia 2. Sort of missing the, uh, the linking chapter at some point. So... At some point, possibly, I will give that a Luxy. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the really rather excellent Mafia Definitive Edition. Thank you very much, and goodbye.